hello again. It's Andrea Doria. Pivotal moments. That's what this is called. Pivotal moments. Well, I guess really it kind of did start with the band on the right, Cheap Trick. Love those guys when I was very young. And uh, pretty much all my friends thought I was nuts for that. I don't know why. So I get a little older. This is a big pivotal moment. Gang of Four Entertainment. Holy moly. One of the first albums I heard before getting involved with college radio and it blew me away. I'm featuring entertainment because sadly Andy Gill, guitarist and found co-founding member of Gang of Four passed away last week and many of us are very devastated about that. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with Gang of Four or if you've only heard I Love a Man in a Uniform, um, really got to go back to the beginning because this is an insanely amazing album. So we slowly pan. Ooh, more music. And this is just where the stereo is, too. This is not even where our vault is. You'll see that some other time. Maybe, if you're lucky. Okay, so pivotal moment, moment number two. This is the college radio station I got involved with, KFJC, Los Altos Hills, California, 94022. Look at that, we had a fly swatter for pledges. College radio, community radio, the way we made money was we have to pledge. You might even be familiar with that. Radio, well, I'll be darned. You know, this fly swatter is old. We still use it. It works great. KFJC changed my life. We'll get into that later, but I was so fortunate to get on the air that, wow. KFJC 89.7. They're streaming live always. So wait a minute, we're going the wrong way. Ooh. Ah, pivotal moment number four. You know who those two guys are? That's me in the bowl cut. You know who's standing on either side of me? If so, leave a comment. Gal on the left is a good friend of mine, Lisa. Uh, that's a big pivotal moment. A uh, show I booked at San Jose State in 1986. And yeah, whoa, okay. So we're going down to the last couple of pivotal moments. This is the band I booked to open for the Red Hot Chili Peppers in 1986 and ended up becoming the manager for for a few years. Dot three, a band we'll hear more about later. They should have gotten somewhere farther than they did, but that's just the way it is in the world of music. Got something great, maybe it gets out there and makes it, and you're Billie Eilish, or maybe it just doesn't. And you know, that's how it goes. Doesn't mean one's better than the other, it's just how things go. And we're going finally over to the, I think I'm at five or six pivotal moment. I began booking a really crazy dive of a night club in San Jose, as you can see. That's a contract I put together, that was for Mud Honey. And then I had a show, a skin yard and cough and break. And, you know, right there we go. Ooh, Marsugis. Wow. So, you know, these are all just a few little images for you. You can look at my Dia de los Muertos collection while I wrap this up because I see them going long again. Um, pivotal moments. Hey, look who's up on our shelf. The Clash. Someone else. John Cooper Clark. Oh, and more Dia de los Muertos. Okay. So you've just seen a few pivotal moments in my life. I'll explain that more later. I uh, just wanted to give you something else to think about. Tell a friend, subscribe. I'm going to fly <laughs> slideshows of other things that led me to where I am now. Uh, I am going to have no more plant matter, possibly more Max, because there he is. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into some interviews. We're going to be reviewing music. Max is not impressed. That's about all, because, you know, it's getting long again. So thank you for checking in again. Uh, those were a few pivotal moments. A lot more on all those pivotal moments later, but this was just a quick follow-up to keep you engaged. And, oh, hey, I'm being a DJ today. You don't have to look at my face. Wishing you a great one, and look forward to posting something good for you that's maybe shorter, maybe longer, don't know. We got a green, icky, 70s carpet background for the finish. Um, hmm. 
Let's go back here. I like that much better. Ooh, look at him. Boy, did I have a crush on that guy. Anyhow, thanks for sh checking in. Tell me who these two men are. And I uh, don't have prizes yet, but you'll just know that you're really cool, man. All right, thanks. See you soon.